All right, y'all. I'm going to use four cups of tap water. We have iron, um, well water, which has iron in it. And I'm going to put in four cups of tap water. If you have chlor chlor oh, that. chlorinated water, please do not use that. This is a two cup measuring cup. There's two. I um, simmer mine for a little bit to get out all the chemicals or the iron, whatever you want to call it. All right. I'm going to do four cups of tap water. You can also make this using a quarter cup of sugar and a cup of water. I'm going to add one cup of white granulated sugar to four cups of water. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simmer it and dissolve the sugar till it's crystal clear. You see how it's cloudy? We want the water crystal clear. And then I'm going to take it, <coughs> turn the heat off, and let it get to room temperature before I fill up the feeders. I will bring you back when we get to that point. Water is clear. But I'm going to bring it to a simmer. Between the second and third week of April, I expect to see some hummers. But they say to put them out a little bit early. <clears throat> so I'm not going to fill my feeders all the way to the top until I see the hummers. That way I'm not wasting so much sugar. You can use, depending on how hot your tap water is, you can use hot tap water as long as there's no chlorine or, you know, unnecessary chemicals in Guys and gals, the nectar has cooled to room temperature. I have me a measuring cup. I cannot find my funnel. And the way some of these come apart, they come apart from the bottom. So, and I have my nectar sitting in here that I made. Remember, it is four cups of water to one cup granulated sugar. And you want to dissolve the sugar. All right. So now we've got that. And like I said, I am not going to fill mine all the way up because I have not seen any hummers yet. So I'll probably put about a cup. Oh, and believe me, I have more hummingbird feeders. I've only putting out a few. Okay. I think that's about enough. This feeder here, I got at Walmart for $4. And now, it, you know, it's up to $4 and some odd cents. I'll put the price um, up there. And... You guys see on this one, it's got little hooks. Little hooks. And I fill them upside down. Alright. And you just stick them and you twist it till it locks in place. And then I grab this. And do not, whatever you do, drop any sugar anywhere. Because trust me, the ants and the bees will find it. Now to me, that's plenty for <clears throat> until they come. And then once they come, I will fill them up a little further. So. I am going to fill these up. Alright, now before I before I take them out, I'm going to wash my hands. And if you have any nectar left over, you can store it in a glass jar in the refrigerator for up to one week. Okay? So you can make this in bigger batches depending on how many hummers you have coming. I'm going to show you the one cup thing for small batches. One quarter cup of sugar. I have a one cup measuring cup and I'm not going to fill it full but I this is hot tap water but I'm only going to put a little bit in like, like I was saying I'm going to stir it up we're going to stir it up okay we don't want to stir it up y'all okay and now we're going to take it over to the microwave And I'm going to put it in the microwave for, mm, 
I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to say two minutes, minute. Let's do a minute and a half and we'll check it. We'll stir it. We're going to stir it. See what we got. See how it settled to the bottom. <clears throat> See how it settled to the bottom. We want this water crystal clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear, y'all. Crystal clear. We're going to put it back in. I stopped it not even at 30 seconds. I apologize for it being so long. But <clears throat> I just wanted to share some no some knowledge that I have learned. There is plenty out there. I Google a lot of my stuff. Plus, I watch hummingbird channels. And I really find the hummingbird fascinating. But I like all wildlife. Alright. What do you think, y'all? Is it there yet? Is she there yet? Almost. My fat hand out the way. Mm, not quite. Put her back in. It says 45 seconds. That should do it, actually. You will find out. If not, we will put her back in for a few more seconds. Just going to let her go <clears throat> for the last seconds. This is where I said you put your quarter cup of sugar in your measuring cup. And don't add all the water. Just add enough to where you can get the sugar dissolved. And then you can top it off with cold water. They say do not use distilled water. I don't know. You might want to Google all this information. Down to a couple seconds. One and beep, beep, beep. You hear Levi. Pay no mind to my nails. Going to go get them done today. Woo, look at the steam. And looky there, y'all. Nice and clear. We're going to give it a stir. We're going to give it a stir. Like I said, I don't have any chlorine in my water, so now I'm just going to top it off with some cold tap water to get equal out to one cup. My other <clears throat> feeder was leaking, so I figured this is a perfect time to show you. So I want to tap this off with cold water to it equals one cup. Almost. Couple seconds. Yeah. And again, this too, depending on how hot it is, you leave that set to room temperature, and um, you'll let that sit till room temperature, and then you'll pour it out. But look, look, quarter cup of sugar, and do it that way. It's a lot easier than you don't have to wait and wait and wait if you're in a hurry to fill up your feeder. Be right back. I'll let the dog in. It's still warm, but I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. I'm just not going to set it out. All right. Try not to get everything all sticky because that it will attract them bees and ants. Oh my goodness, will it? You can make your own ant mode if you'd like to try. I did using, <clears throat> excuse me, a water bottle and. Now this will go upside down because I'm holding this upside down. And a wire clothes hanger or you could go to Amazon or eBay and you can purchase the <coughs> ant modes to hang above, above, now I'm, I'm going to do it in here, make sure it's not dripping, there we go, she's not dripping this time y'all, and then that way. As the ants will come up wherever they're coming, they're going to come down, but they're going to have to go into the water first. I am, haven't put any oil, you know, like cooking oil or anything in it because I don't know if it would hurt the hummingbirds or anything. So I just try to use the big, wide water bottles, the Dasani ones or whatever big, large bottle you could find to make the ant moat just as large as it can be. I will post a photo of what I did and the ones that you can buy. They're red. I'm sure you've seen them. All right. Thank you all so much for coming along, and I'm going to go hang this out. I'm going to hang it out back so that um, when they arrive, if I happen to be in my kitchen, I can see them out my kitchen window. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers and for all the ones that just keep coming back and leaving me all the fabulous comments. 
Love you all. God bless. Stay safe. Um, the weather is cool, so they can stay out a little longer than normal, but as your weather warms up and you have them in the sun, you need to keep an eye on them to keep the uh, make sure that the sugar did not spoil. Uh, also, keep an eye that you have no ants in here or bees because if there are, the Hummers will not drink from them.